Tonight's You and Your Money is brought to you by the Ministry of Tourism, the Ministry of Finance, and the Ministry of Social Services and Community Development. Hello and welcome to You and Your Money. I'm your host, Jerome Sawyer. The introduction of value-added tax, or VAT, as it is commonly referred to on January 1st, changed the landscape significantly in the Bahamas. And now, some eight months later, those changes continue. On today's show, I'm happy to welcome officials from the Department of Inland Revenue. I want to, uh, first of all, say thank you for coming on today. And we're going to talk about a lot of the changes that are continuing um, even now as we speak. Joining me on this edition of You and Your Money are Roger Forbes. He is the Chief Valuation Officer and Controller of Inland Revenue. Welcome. Thank also, you. Chandra Strawn. She is the Chief Revenue and Finance Officer. And finally, Ralph Munro, a superintendent with Customs who is on secondment to the Department of Inland Revenue. Thank you. Gentlemen, lady, welcome to you and your money. Thank I want know. to talk about, first of all, the Department of Inland Revenue and, and what it is, why it's come about, and certainly how VAT or VAT fits into, into that department and its work. Well, the Department of Inland Revenue is a department under the Ministry of Finance and the department has responsibility for a number of revenue measures, inclusive of the real property tax, the business license, of course the value added tax, uh, first time home exemption, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So um, we have responsibility to our ministry, and of course we are delighted to be serving the general public and to assist in educating persons to become compliant with the relevant laws and regulations. Of course, the newest um, item to that portfolio is that VAT. It's been now approaching uh, eight months since the implementation of that. I know that um, in, at the six-month mark, that was very significant as businesses were required to report. But how is it going overall? Are people compliant? Are they finally sort of getting into the groove and understanding the, the procedure and the process? Uh, yes, we are pleased. Of course, uh, you know, the, in a matter of days, persons have already uh, complied with the monthly returns for the month of uh, July and also the quarterly returns for the second quarter. And we want to encourage those persons to ensure that they uh, comply in time to avoid any unforeseen uh, penalties. Mm -hmm. But things are going pretty good. Of course, with something new, there's always room for improvement, and we will address those as we move along. And so one of the things we want to say with respect to the value added tax is that if you are not a registrant, you should not be charging uh, VAT. And, uh, those who are registrant, we want them to file on a timely basis and to keep proper records. Okay, good. Um, good to know overall, though, that it is progressing um, well and people are compliant for the most part. Now, today we are here to discuss two um, very specific things related to the department. Um, one being the introduction of a business license online registration. I want to talk about that and what that's about and how that affects <coughs> businesses going forward. Okay. Well. We're happy to say we have beefed up our services and we are more into customer service and trying to, trying to alleviate some of the concerns that we know that our taxpayers had over time, namely the long lines. Mm -hmm. So with the long lines, or we're doing away with the long lines, we've now introduced an online system for business license. The good thing is it will be on the same platform as the VAT system. So those businesses that have already registered for VAT or are already in the VAT process, it will be an easy shift for the businesses now going online. And so this applies to what? Or this applies to, in what way does this apply to businesses? Okay. Businesses are now able to apply online for a new business license. They are now able to renew their current business licenses online. So businesses that are whether it be an occasional license, an annual license, or a temporary license, it can now be done in the comfort of your home. And how, 
how has this online registration improved the process? You you mentioned you know people complain about the long line, so of course that's the, the that's, that's a the great benefit, thing. to especially right. if you're in business, right. you have time right. for you don't have time right. for anything. Um, but certainly, how is this going to to improve? Will it make it more efficient? Is there a faster response time? Things well, all of those things. It's a faster response time, but it also means that business persons can do it at any time. So you're not limited to 9 to 5. You can apply online at any time. And also, you can also pay online. So it kind of cuts out your need for having to track down to the department. We are, of course, a new in a new location to better serve the public. So now we have parking, ample parking. Mm -hmm. But it allows the businesses to be able to... Um, determine how or at what time they go on to process the business license or to apply for the business license. And how do you physically get the license? Can you print it out or do you still have to come in to collect Same it? Same as the VAT certificate. Mm -hmm. It's emailed to you. So once the process, your application has been processed, the license is emailed to you. You pay first, of course, online. Mm -hmm. You can pay online or go to your bank. The bank nearest you and pay. Excellent. And then it's emailed. And um, you mentioned, too, though, that you have a new location with Ample Parking. Tell us quickly about that. And where okay. That. Everybody knows Saturday Scotia. So Scotia Bank that's open on Saturdays on Carmichael Road. Mm -hmm. It's in the shops um, at the plaza where Scotia Bank and Burger King. So mm -hmm. we're, we're at the rare okay. on Carmichael and Palmetto Roads. Well, folks, we are at the point of our first break in the show. We're going to invite our viewers to stay with us. We are back on You and Your Money right after this. <laughs> 